Well, let's go to Austin calling in from Kentucky. Austin, what's your question for Adriel? Uh, hey, guys. My question is, uh, what does the Bible say about profanity? And in particular, I know a lot of Christians like to use, like, sort of alternative profanity words. And, you know, we didn't have the words we use today back then, so I wouldn't imagine that using alternative profanity would be any better uh, morality or scripturally than using the real one. So I guess, what what does it say about that? Mm-hmm. Hey, Austin. Uh, Well, thank you for that question. You know, my mind first goes to Paul's exhortation in Ephesians chapter 4. In verse 29, he said, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And of course, Jesus himself said that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You can read that in Luke chapter 6, verse 45. And so we're called not to use corrupting speech. Now, the real question is, what does that mean? There is some really harsh language in the Bible. Um, You see it out of the mouth of John the Baptist. You see it out of the mouth of the Apostle Paul when he's writing to the Galatians. I mean, he he basically, uh, you know, he he curses them in in one sense. He says, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Um, Now, I, I wouldn't say that that's that's potty talk that, you know, that's that's profanity that's being used. But but there is a place I would say um, for strong uh, language, for for language that's going to get uh, an individual's attention. And that's what you see in, in the New Testament. But there is no place for the Christian for corrupting talk. And that's not—I don't think that what, what Paul has in mind there is, you know, the sort of four-letter curse words. I think he's talking about the kind of speech that brings other people down. It could be gossip— um, you know, and sometimes there are there are really pious ways that people go about gossiping, but nevertheless, it is corrupting speech. And so I think it's important for us to ask ourselves, Austin, as we think about our, our, our words and how we're using our words, um, are we uh, speaking in such a way that is going to build the people around us up? Are we, as Paul says, uh, again, in, in the book of Ephesians, a little bit earlier there, are we speaking the truth in love to each other, or are we just talking in a way to get to get attention, to, you know, to, to cause people to look at us? And, uh, and sometimes I think with, with the way in which people use profanity, that might be, that might be part of the reason. Um, and so we have to be careful. Um, again, the Bible doesn't, doesn't speak specifically to, you know, you know, how do we deal with these four-letter words, that kind of a thing. Um, but I think each of us, we need to ask ourselves, is the speech that I use corrupting or is it life-giving? Is it encouraging? Um, and as you examine your own heart with that, I think, you know, may the Lord encourage you to uh, and bless you and be with you to speak in a way that's going to build up the people around you as you speak the truth in love. Hey, friends, thanks for watching that video. I trust that it was encouraging to you. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're looking for more great content coming from Core Christianity. And if you haven't done so yet, would you give this video a like? It's one of the ways that we can continue to get the word out. Uh, So like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. May the Lord bless you.